welcome to part two of the to-do list if you have not yet seen the part one i suggest you start with it so today we're going to be continuing from where we left we're going to put in some um action with on our add button so it could show a pop-up that will ask us to put in some tasks and then show in the in the list this is what we'll be doing in this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet and like this video and also share with your friends let's get started so what we have already is we have this list which we also populated in our rts file and uh, this button we also have that one we're gonna be then having a click uh, event here on this button the add one which will then um, make us go and create a model that will pop up so we could just populate our items so this is how we do it we put in some on click events right there we go to the home ts and we add a method called add um, let's just add it right there and this method will just help us um, create a model okay how are we going to use a model we need to generate it so we're going to use rnfj so generate page add new task this page will be using it as our model right there now let's create it let's just go to it and just modify the view of how the model should look like under add new task.html and before we do that we just make sure that our add button is sending us to that model and to do that we are going to use um the model controller which we are injecting right in the constructor and we just going to populate um, a model await um, this dot the controller to create and you need component and that component is the one the page that we just recreated right now okay and then we're going to move on to we can say return uh, return this model uh, because this is a safe um, method we have to use await we just start the wrong bit correct um, okay, let's move on. So let's see, this is how it works. If you click it shows that you don't know how to turn it back, so we have to have a business method. Okay, now let's start styling our model. First, we need to have the closing button so that we can dismiss our model. And I'm just going to add it here. Let me just change the title of that. And then you go ahead, just add an icon. Um, for the closing, I'm just gonna use this close icon, let's put it right at the end of the toolbar, um, make it a little bit large, right? And then we have to have a click uh, event for it so it could dismiss the model. So a model is just will be on top of the page, so we need to have it removed immediately if we want to have um if we want to go back to the next the, the previous page so i'm gonna have dismiss method on my ts file right there and then i'm gonna inject the model controller um because i'm gonna need to use it to dismiss the control the model so i'm gonna say model dot dismiss and that will be it so let's test it out let's run this close it like that goes in right um Let's just give it a nice padding space there in between so it could look very nice and presentable right fit all right so we are going to have our items we have um i'm just going to use an iron uh, code i'm going to have the first item the first item is um i want to have a text area so i'm going to use iron text area like that so this will be for the, the task name. So let me just have like a little let a case on top. So I'll write the task here. And then I'm going to have another item down right underneath it. Um let me have a label call this variety. So we have uh, different priorities. Um, I'm gonna use an iron select for this one. So iron select has iron select options, which will then give us options of um, whatever we want this um, multiple selector thing to have. Not the multiple selects, we just want the user to select once. So we're gonna use an iron select 
option. And we have three different values. Um, remember the priorities that we had was low, high, medium, and high. So I'm going to have this there. So when you put the value here, the program will already know that whenever somebody selects this one, we'll have a value of the low or the middle or the high one. Okay? So like that, and we are done with the item. We are going to move on to the, um, the third. Okay, let me set it up. So remember, you just have to test everything out as you go. Because you, if you stop at something while you while you are going, it's hard to it's hard to crease back where you just left off. Okay. So let's have some um, category. So remember we had um, stars. So remember we have like um, a toss name, a priority, a, a category as well as three dates. So this is what we are having here. So I'm just doing that here and also like styling it. Um, let's move on into another item, which is the button. And I'm going to add a toss button there. I'm going to have it, um, have some margin. Next one to your blog. Um, let's see how it looks. Okay. Oh, you are missing a date there. So let's have another item for the date and So we will have it in the calendar outline icon. Remember, if you want to use different icons, you can go and check the icons um, page inside the Ali Framework website. Um, we do have the names of the icons there. Okay, so we're going to use a tag that is called an I'm Good Time. So to just think for more, you need it to just say um, display the day. Um, the month, the year, that format, and we also need some time and a date for it. And then we'll be done with the UI of this um, page. You see the time there. You can select the priority. Okay, so we are left with categories. Um, so let's have a list of categories here. Um, also, also populate it like that. So we're gonna have an array list of categories. Um, then we're going to display them and let the user select any category they want to choose from. Okay. So let's have also some uh, the, uh, variables for all the fields. So we have the name, the date, the categories as well. Um, here we're going to use ng model, a directive, like that, so that we can do the data binding. So how it works is that if I put task name inside ng model with like this, it means I can get the value, I forget that it's been typed in the HTML, I can get it in the TS and I can manipulate it immediately as the person types it. So this is basically what we're gonna use it. So this is how you get the value from the the, um, the, the HTML to the TS. Okay, so all the fields have their own names, like priority, so you just done the name and the date, you're going to do it finally the take of the date and time. And then you use ng-model, which is also a uh, task date like this. So the names have to be exactly the same as the PS, otherwise you will have a, uh, a problem. Okay. So, all right, so how we're going to do the categories is um, we're going to have a category, put the categories in there. Um, so remember with the category, um, we will have some cheap, uh, we'll have like the cheap, uh, then the user will have to select which one they want to have, they want to select the, so this is where we're going to have our cheap and cheap, um, so we have a little item for it down there, we we'll use iron chip, like that, the tag, and we need to have like our categories, um, so I'm going to do the four categories, um, I read them, uh, so we had work, uh, the other one was like, um, personal, another one was, um, um, home, so you can add as much more as you need, or just make the user to, um, give them a platform to add more categories should they want to cater for their own personal lives. So here we're going to have the cheap that will run 
we'll have to fill all in that array which is how I fit into four right now so I'm gonna have the label that will show a um, the name of the category so I'm gonna have this category A let's see how it works so see there's three things that we have there so once when they select it to show in that label so to do that I'm going to show you how to do that so we're gonna have that First, we need to have an index so we know which one was selected inside the for loop. So to do that, we do that let i is equal to index, and then we have the click button for the chief, uh, so that event could um, click. So this method could start as soon as someone clicks it. So we send the index there in our CS file. We have to then go ahead and have the method name so let's say category um it's expecting an index the index will show us which one was selected there so we're going to use this category the categories which is an array then we have therefore select which one of this in this array has been selected so we're going to have this category index like that let's see so Okay, so the problem that we have here is the engine model. Uh, we're not supposed to have an engine model. We have to just have a category, task category there. So whatever selected category will go to the selected one method and the task, task category will have a relevant category. Let's test it, test it out and see if it works. Okay, now let us have the add task and have the click event there in our button. Now this will collect everything that we have um, put in our items, on our iron items, and so on, so iron selector, and we want this everything to be inside an object, okay? So we are going to declare an object of task. So this will hold everything, it's like a container that will hold everything that we want so we could pass it through into our home page where we could just put it push it onto an array and have it displayed there. So the first one we have the task name. Uh, the task name will be getting it from the one that was being uh, we did the that's a binding from the HTML and the task G date um, and okay let me just change those names to item names. Like that so we could just see the difference uh, between the ones that we are populating okay so we'll have the other one is priority um this is task priority um i'm forgetting what let's just have it nicely formatted there okay so the last one is the category okay so this is how we do the category, um, this the task category, and this. Now everything will be stored in a JSON format array. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss the model and send out all the um, JSON um, collected data to the home screen so that it could just push it into an array. So from here, we are going to call in a, an event um, method called on dismiss from the model which will um, execute immediately after the model has been dismissed and this is how we get the data from it um, the new task task object is the one that has been sent out so we're going to log this and see how it looks it should look something similar to that okay um, quickly Okay, we have a problem there. See, the priority and the categories are the same thing. It means I made a, problem, a mistake here. Okay. It has priority. So it has um, categories instead of priority. Okay, let's see if it works again. Okay, now it looks fine. Cool. So this is the object that that's how it looks like from what we have populated. So we want to push this into this array. 
quickly so that we don't have a preloaded task. So I'm gonna call this array to do dot list to do list is equal to um, push actually because it's an array new task objects dot data don't forget data. Uh, okay, what's happening? Okay, cool. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, let's test it out. So now uh, you can see it's empty. I'm going to populate the array with this data. There we go. Now we have the data. Let's put in another one. And let's see if we will still have something. Yes, we do have. So this is how you do it. Uh, populating data to an array. No, I think we have a problem. You see now the styling is not the one. We are missing some elements there. I think we have probably the HTML. Let's see. Okay, so the, the item category. It's actually the priority that has a problem because we are styling um, our thing, our colors based on the priority. So we need to check if we did something wrong there. And we see. Okay, cool. I see. I think I see a problem there. What do we have there? It's a capital letter problem. Okay, let's see on our uh, home. Okay, so you see everything is small letters and it we are populating a capital letter. So we're going to fix this and fix it and let's see if it will work. Let's add. We add that and that date. It's on the low, so it should be great. There we go. We have our styling back and everything looks as good as you. Okay. Alright, guys. So now, okay, cool. Now we're going to move to the last part of the tutorial of um, the delete button. So I'm going to I have the listener there and now we will need an index for the selected card so for that we're gonna go on top there and have um, the index thing there we're gonna say um, okay so let i equals to index so I've placed this on the wrong place here we go all right so this will send in an index where exactly in an array should we delete the card, the item. So here I'm gonna receive an index. So I'm gonna call in my list and use the splice um, in an index on that one is saying only to get one item in it. So let's test this out if it works. I'll just quickly do that, delete, and it's gone. And I hit another one and it's gone. So yes, guys, um, that's it. Um, I hope you like the tutorial and please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you.